What's good, what's good, and good morning from Canada. Welcome back to Investing with Jax. Hope you're well. So we're going to go over Polygon, guys. Currently, we're sitting at $1.85. Um, we're up 7% on the day, and on the 7-day, we're down. Uh, we're up 1%. Okay, <laughs> that's good. So we're sitting at $10.48 billion market cap, and we're sitting at 24-hour volume of $2.73 billion. Now, guys, I wanted to go over Elliott Wave Theory here with Matic. Now, please remember, it's just a theory, guys. It's not a fact. So please let me know your thoughts on the comments because this is kind of what I'm seeing. So basically how it works is you have five impulsive waves followed by an ABC correction. So here's your wave one followed by corrective wave two. Impulsive wave three, corrective wave four, impulsive wave five. Now your first corrective wave, your wave A, is usually a 100% retracement of wave four. And you can see it here. We've had a 100% retracement. I've pulled it up here for you guys. So you can see here, 100% uh, retracement of move from four to five. All right, guys. And we've had that 100% retracement. Um, if you ignore the wicks that came all the way down, you can see here we came right down to our wave four. And then you come up and you have your B wave and then you are followed by your deeper C wave. Now, I think this is a possibility, guys. So I would love to know your thoughts on Elliott Wave Theory here for Matic. And then now you start again and you have your next impulsive wave followed by your corrective wave. So here's wave one and here's your corrective wave two. And this may play out. It's not a guarantee, it's just a theory, guys. But you see how much support is in this area? Here, support, 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 resistance, previous swing high right here. Let me give it a little bit of a price target. So if you do see Matic start to hit resistance and start to roll over, um, you could definitely see it come down to this dollar 49 and then bounce off that major level of support if this Elliott wave theory plays out. All right, guys, now I pulled out my Fibonacci to kind of give some future price targets here from this swing high down to our swing low. I'm just going to pull it out for you guys. So if Elliott Wave Theory plays out, your third impulsive wave is usually your largest wave, which could bring us up to these price targets. We could hit that $4.60, or if it was even a larger wave, to bring us up to about $5.93, $6, that price target we've been talking about on the channel at the 1.618. And then you would have your corrective wave and then you would kind of go into price discovery here for wave five and maybe we'd end up around that ten dollar mark i know a lot of people are expecting matic to reach ten dollars so this is just something i wanted to bring to your attention do so if you do see matic roll over um, and we have that corrective wave. We have a pretty major level of support here at $1.49. There's also support here at the 0.5 on the Fibonacci at about $1.65, $1.64. Um, so look for support in that area. And then if we start to trend back upwards, we might see this Elliott wave theory play out here. I just had noticed it due to the fact that we had this ABC correction and wave A was a 100% retracement here of wave four. So let me know your thoughts on that. So we're going to drop it into the four hour time frame. So we're here on the four hour and we've had that um, symmetrical triangle that we've been drawing and we're starting to squeeze into it. So if we do break down and we come down to these major levels, actually, I'm going to pull this down here just to get this price target where you had a dollar 50 here see all this support and resistance in this area and these wicks came right down to a dollar 50 as well um so if we were to break out of this if we squeeze and we break down and we come down and find support at a dollar 68 or a dollar 50 just keep an eye on that elliott wave theory it's just something i wanted to bring to your attention now guys if we do break to the upside we need to get back above a dollar 95 it's crucial guys and then we had that um we had that bullish pennant that we had drawn. I had deleted it just because it's so many lines on the chart and I don't wanna you know, make your guys head spin. And then you would have your flag pull. So if we do break out of this here, what's going on? Sometimes I get a little bit of lag here with trading view. If we do break out, we should see that juicy pop right up to $2.42. Um, however, there, remember guys, there's always the possibility of the rollover. And if we do come down guys to that $1.68 or $1.50, um, just consider a, a, that Elliott wave theory, all right guys? So we are still holding the support of the EMAs, which is a great sign. And we're just squeezing right now. So we should see a breakout, um, to the upside or to the downside pretty shortly because we're squeezing right into this triangle here. 
So if I put it here onto the one hour chart, so we're here on the hourly chart. I'm just going to move my trend line up here because usually you want to see it have three touches, three areas where it hits support and three areas where it hits resistance as well. So um, we're just squeezing right now. So it's kind of like do or die time here for Matic, uh, whether or not we're going to break to the upside and head towards that $2.42 or we're going to see that roll over to $1.68 and $1.50 and maybe we'll see that Elliott wave theory play out. So hopefully it decides soon let's quickly look at ethereum i was so f uh, busy with matic this morning i didn't look at eth so we have a bit of an ascending triangle here for ethereum as well so we may see that squeeze would be crucial for us to break through um about 2749 which is our resistance here on the 0.5 and the fibonacci previous level of resistance here as well and then of course we'd have to get back above our high about 2905 to show us that we're good to go and we're going to continue along on this bull run but you may see a little bit of consolidation and hopefully we see that breakout um, to the upside but if we were to roll over and break down uh, we have some key levels of support here major level of resistance and support at 24.63 and then down here we have some supported resistance as well um, that we may find around 23.67 and of course 21.57 as well here so we're back here on the hourly formatic now if you see it squeeze and we don't break out if we do a little bit of something like this where we just can kind of continue to consolidate and squeeze a little bit what can happen here is that these trend lines would just come out and you would just do a little something like this where basically we could continue to squeeze for a while before we decide to break out of our bull pennant here. And then your breakout target would come over here and it'd be pretty close still to that $2.42. Actually, let me move this up. I don't want to hit the candles too much. It would bring us up here to about $2.37. All right, guys, so keep an eye on this little bit of consolidation and squeezing that we're doing right now. Uh, within the next week or so, we should see that breakout, either breakout and to head towards that $2.37 or uh, start to roll over and possibly have the Elliott Wave Theory play out here. Just remember, guys, it is a theory where we have our first impulsive wave and then we come down and we correct to that about $1.47, $1.50 area before we see our next wave up towards future price targets here at... um. Possibly five dollars and ninety-eight cents. Maybe we would hit about four sixty-four, and then head up towards price discovery here about ten dollars forty-five cents. Um, I know a lot of people are saying Matic is going to reach ten dollars. Would love to see it. So just keep an eye on that playing out as well. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter. You can check out the Discord Patreon link in the bio, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.